I'm in Belgium on the coastal plain and it, it, it borders the North Sea and you can see that it's incredibly flat and uh, uh, rather featureless in terms of uh, topography and that's because uh, this whole area was once part of the sea um, and comprised marshes and peat bogs and so on and now um, because of rec land reclamation it's been turned over to agricultural land now we, we are sitting um, th this whole area is filled with uh, is underlain by sediments that are infilling uh, valleys that are now submerged below those sediments and the sediments that we find uh, in this layer cake here are uh, uh, different layers of uh, silts and muds and also clay um, and, but also peat layers in here as well. Now each one of those different layers re records changing sea level in this area with the, uh, the silts representing uh, sea level high stands and the peats representing what we call sea level low stands when the sea uh, fell slightly. Um, and so we have marine silts with marine microfossils in it. We have um, organic peat with uh, uh, terrestrial uh, plant fossils in and so on, and even evidence of human occupation. Um, and so as the sea changed, uh, sea level changed throughout the uh, period since the last ice age, um, we've had the sea transgressing in and also regressing. Now here we've got lots of different uh, events of the sea coming in and out and they've got particular names um, but overall because it's la been laid down by the sea and by water um, the whole area as you can see is rather flat because water um, and the tides uh, create this, this tidal landscape of course um, it had to be reclaimed and to do that ditches uh, were, were um, built uh, to dug to uh, drain the land uh, sea walls were erected and also uh, sluice gates in the tidal rivers and creeks were, were, were constructed to keep the tide out. But of course there are still storms that occupy uh, and invade these types of areas both here in Belgium and in neighbouring Holland but also across the North Sea and the English Channel in, the, in England and the rest of the United Kingdom and, and also in, in France as well. Uh, in, in, within the North European lowlands. So a fascinating area, a topography that's low-lying um, and, and has a very close relationship with sea level since the last ice age, with the transgressions of the sea coming in, the regressions of the sea going out, but also uh, then human uh, impacts in terms of reclamation uh, to form the agricultural lands that we see today.